Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. This year at the SEMA show, for the first time, were some truly custom-built Maverick show trucks. The truck's been out for a year now. People have had time to play with them. So we're going to run down the top five Maverick show trucks I saw at SEMA this year right now. Because Ford Motor Company completely bailed out of the SEMA show this year, left a big huge hole right in the middle of it, all of the Ford Maverick show trucks we're talking about today are either built by private custom builders or companies who build parts for us to add to our trucks. H&R Springs had their Cyber Orange 2022 EcoBoost all-wheel drive on hand to show off their lowering sports springs. The truck clearly had a closer to the ground stance and its wheel wells full of some tight 20 by 9 rotiform wheels with pretty wide rubber. 25-45R20 front and 275-40R20 at the rear. The offset and stance you're looking at were managed with a set of Track Plus wheel spacers. The truck was set off visually with some custom graphics on the hood and down the sides with H&R logos sprinkled in for good measure here and there. At the rear, it was a pretty premium looking WeatherTech alloy cover, hard folding tonneau cover. That's definitely worth a little bit more investigation. Now, one of the most eye-catching builds of the show came from a private owner in Texas who created a fully slammed and built silver Maverick with an amazing custom paint job and presentation clearly built for show stopping. With lots of touches like body color bumpers and rockers, body color air design fender flares, and a low profile Lear topper, it really grabs attention. Wheels are 22 inches by JTX, and the lowered air suspension comes by way of chassis tech. LED accent lighting underneath all around makes an additional visual statement. The interior is fully customized as well, with leather seating and carbon fiber bezels throughout on the dash, really bringing it up a notch. Check this though, at the top is a fully opening 35x35 35 35 sliding ragtop installation that made me really look twice. Inside the rear cargo area is a full audio build that really deserves its own video here with way too much to list in this video. It's all very well done and I presume can be heard a mile away. A little bit more on the corporate wavelength and built to show off primarily their new low profile topper Lear Corporation brought their custom Maverick Lariat Hybrid in carbonized gray, complete with a color match top. Fully lined and outfitted inside, the cargo area featured a custom bed slide system also by Lear. A big screen TV and rock guitars really set the stage for a tailgating night to show off a little. Giving it all a little bit of power is a prototype solar panel on top with battery packs for energy storage. The truck itself was customized with body color bumpers, lower rockers, air design fender flares, a grill bar, and bed cap trim to give it a slick monotone presentation all around. A full set of wrap graphics front to rear give it a splash, and a lowered suspension with custom 20-inch rotiform wheels make it all look too cool for school. Another private custom creation was a fully dropped Maverick in black with a comprehensive build to slam it to the ground. Walking around, you'll notice a lot of little details like body color bumpers front and rear as well as the lower rockers. Light lenses are blacked out and the center grill bar painted accent color. Fenders are filled in with the big plastic XL vent emblems deleted. And check this, at the bed line they also sectioned the rear fender apron to give it a more traditional cut line of visual separation at the cab. Finishing it off, the cargo box has a spray in bed liner in accent purple. Wheels? They're 22 inches from Dropstar, and to make those fit, the frame rails and shock towers at the front were relocated, and at the rear, a modified rear axle mount and a tub out is done inside the bed. Little things you really have to get up close to really notice. A custom air suspension makes it all work coming and going. Nothing quite catches your eye like the color of Velocity Blue, and this Maverick only adds to that by a factor of 10 with all of its custom paintwork and mods. With graphics well done front to rear, lots of LED lighting from Oracle, and a low profile aero topper all matched up in body color, along with bumpers and other previously black plastics, this thing really makes a statement. A fully lowered suspension by Universal Air sets it down on some Billet Specialties wheels, 18 inches at the front and 20 inches at the back. A custom exhaust that spills out just behind the rear wheel comes by way of MagnaFlow. 
The interior is also fully customized with leather seating front and rear, and looking into the rear is where you're really going to notice a little surprise, a full opening into the cargo hold where the built audio system is on full stage. At the rear, the audio system built by the Outlaw Garage continues with way too much for us to list here. Between this build and the silver one from Texas, I'm not sure which of these two Mavericks would be best of show, but both of them really deserve it. My takeaway this year from the SEMA show, particularly relating to the Ford Maverick, is that the mini truck and street truck craze never went away. What went away is the company stopped building its trucks. And now that compact trucks are rolling out again, well, look what's showing up in the show scene. And so um, it just gives people a way to create and express their passion in vehicles. But some of these vehicles also show us ways that we can accessorize and add features to the trucks out there. And so it really sort of does all of those things at once. And that's what the SEMA show is all about, is showing this stuff off and showcasing what can be done and can be bought. So there you go. We've got a lot of coverage of SEMA this year, and we also have a lot of coverage on Maverick. You can see all of that right there on our playlist. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.